We're here at Schultz, located in Yuma, Arizona, and they have park models here that we're gonna look at. Hey everyone, Aja here from Pandemonium. I decided to stop by this mobile home place. They have some normal looking mobile homes here. Well, that one, the outside looks unusual. That's pretty cool. But the reason I stopped was for this one. It looks like a tiny home. It has the, it's on trailers with wheels, four wheels under there. It's not like a normal mobile home. It's actually pretty tall, but it does have the porch on it. That's awesome. All right, let's go take a look. I think they're open. Oh, it's not open. <laughs> she said it's open. I just had to pull harder. Okay, there it goes. Oh, wow. Oh, this looks nice. Look at the cabinets, the backsplash, the counter. It's linoleum, but, or flamica, whatever. But it still looks good. I love that deep sink. That's awesome. Nice sprayer. Hmm. I prefer like a gas. Or either, um, well, it's an, it's, I, is that induction? That is induction. These doors, they stand. Dual pane windows, so they're heavy. Oh. As well. so. so, what is What do you consider this? Is this a tiny home or a it's, mobile home? <laughs> it's a park model. A, oh, a park, a park model. model. So it's under the 400 square feet. It's okay. 199.99. Of livable square footage, which is this bottom portion. Okay. And uh, it's beautiful. The loft does not count as square footage. No. The porch does not count as square footage. Huh. How is that? I usually thought they count the porch at least as square footage. No. No. Okay. Huh. That's a nice size. The wow, the ceiling's low, but it's because you have that loft. Yeah. Oh, these are some deep stairs. Uh, can I go up to the sure, loft? Sure. Okay. Oh. Talk about um, low roof. That's why it's not counted. As <laughs> oh, that's why it's not if counted. If you could stand up in it, mm -hmm. it would be counted. Okay, I see. Still would make a nice bedroom. You just can crawl put an in. air mattress up there. Um, yeah. I had a lady that put one of the a little kids type of table up there with a chair. Uh huh. She used it as a sewing room. Oh, a sewing room. Huh. I think a bedroom would be nicer up there. I really like that, but look at this one. This one also is considered a park model. Is this one much bigger? Well, it's different. It doesn't have the porch. It's enclosed all the way around. Huh. Looks, yeah, see, these are double doors. So yeah, so you'd have to like, build the porch to go on, but it's still uh, the four axles yeah, there. And it's got a another door over here. It does have another door over there? Oh my god, I love this thing. Look at that. So if they're under 400 feet, they do consider them RVs. As a mobile home. Oh, look at all the square footage in this one. Holy cow, this is huge. This one's got to be more than 400 though. So this, so this one is still, con this one's considered a mobile home, not a RV though. Holy cow. Look how big this is. Oh my God, a walk-in closet. Oh, it goes to the bathroom. Oh, this is where the laundry facility is. Then some cabinets for the wardrobe. Leads into the bathroom. Oh my god, this is awesome. I would love this on the property. I love those cabinets. It seems huge because it's so open. It does seem huge. It might be because the ceiling is much taller in this one than the other one is. Yeah, no loft in this one. But I did want something considered an RV. Because if it's an RV, I think it's it's different. It falls under a different category. Yeah, that one, that's what I sh the first one I showed. That one's definitely a mobile home. But I think they're all the larger ones. She was calling them park models, but that yeah. one was small. Yeah, the very front one was. And she said that one was actually considered an RV because it was at the 400 square feet. But anything larger than that, like I said, is considered a mobile home, so the permitting is different. Yeah, these ones are much bigger. Let's go take a look at this green one here. 
It looks bigger too. Oh, it's not as big. Oh, I love the kitchen. Look at that. Ooh, pretty. Look at those windows. Oh, wow. Not a great view. A bunch of old rusty trailers back there. Yeah, on the property. Like this would definitely face the mountains. But look at this. Oh, this would be perfect. Look at the bathroom. I like all the light colors. Makes it look roomy. It's got frosted glass. Look at this huge freaking wardrobe here. Oh my God. I don't have that many clothes. I have like... The thing is, is if you put oh, it on the property, be so it would become also semi-storage. So you could keep stuff there if you were right, right. the RV. So you'd want storage in it. Exactly. Huh. Hi, y'all. <laughs> I like this one. I don't know. I kind of like the other one because it well, falls like into the, the RV I like the uh, one like category. Porch size and it had a porch. Yeah, and it does you know, have a porch. None of these have the porch. Reduces the size inside of this. Although I, mean, I love that kitchen. Really nice, yeah. Huh. Nice. Nice little living room area here. Gotta have the spot for the big flat screen TV. <laughs> All right. That's nice. Put the kitchen in the middle again. Yeah, we're gonna take a look at one more here. Oh, they actually have furniture in here. Nice sofa. Huge windows. Wow. Yeah, that would be facing the mountains. <laughs> they just have a little corner TV stand here. I don't know if I like the, this layout as much. Well, the thing is, if you spend any time in the kitchen, it's closed in. And yeah, this one seems like, the other one seems so open. I don't know if it's the darker cabinets and the um, countertops. I mean, it's pretty. There is a back door here. Bathroom's not bad. I do like that. Nice huge stand-up shower. No washer dryer. No washer dryer like the other one? No? Are you sure? Did you check this? Oh no, that's just a linen closet. Another big wardrobe. Place for your TV here. Huh, what happened to the screen door? And it's, this is set up just like the other bedroom. It's exactly. The, just, the kitchen's different. The kitchen was at that end. I, I think I like the kitchen at the far end better than right yeah, here. It kind of feels cramped. All right. Okay, we're here. Let's check another one. This one, no porch. It just seems more mobile home style. Well, it has this little thing to get up in there. Another living room at the end. Although I like the windows. Yeah, look at the counter space. There's not much counter space at all. Well, some, you can work here, there. I definitely don't like the finish of this kitchen. Reminds me of like 90s, early 2000. There's the refrigerator. There's a place for washer and dryer right yeah, here. But then this is wasted. I don't know why the Back door. The There's the bathroom. Uh, yeah, this one's not my favorite. What is it? Oh, I think that's where a TV is supposed to be or something. Yeah. Probably a wardrobe with a TV. Here's their, they like the cut into the wardrobe. So this wardrobe's definitely not as big as the other one. But I mean, how much cabinets or wardrobe do you need? Yeah, this is my least favorite out of all of them. Yeah. I mean, out of the bigger one, yeah. The one with the kitchen Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, <laughs> let's check this one. So living room up front again. There's the entertainment. Enough space for a little dinette. Oh, this feels claustrophobic. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't think I like this one. I mean, I like how, the, I like the finish. It's light and bright, but it feels narrow and claustrophobic. Yeah, you don't spend much time in the kitchen. Yeah, there's the bathroom. That's why, because they put the bathroom up here. 
And there is the second entrance or exit. And here is the wardrobe. They've cut this one down too because the entertainment is at the end over here. Nice big window. And then, and then this is where you put your bed. Wish I had a window there too. That'd be nice. Yeah, I definitely don't like this layout either. Better than the other one. But yeah, still feels kind of claustrophobic. So besides the park model, the one they consider an RV, this one here is my favorite. It the, has the kitchen in the front and it was just so spacious. I, I really like that one. I bet that one's spacious. Oh, that's a double wide. Yeah, no, that's way too big. Don't need anything like that. <laughs> just want something small on the property. I really did like the layout of the green one. We weren't able to go into the gray one, but this is my all-time favorite here, the one with the loft. It's under 400, or it's at 400 square feet. And I do like this one since it has a porch. And I really do like the layout, although the kitchen is right here up front, but I still like the kitchen on the other one. The green one. Yeah, I think that's the best thing. I would definitely put a bedroom up there. A big, huge bed. Then make this into maybe an office or something. Or it could be used as a guest bedroom. With the windows over here, over the bed, it, it does make this room seem a lot bigger. But I don't like how the, like the entertainment center is in the corner there. Kind of awkward. And not as, not the big glass doors. Just has the simple doors there. It says how big the bathroom is for this size model. Yeah, it does have a pretty big bathroom. Oh, and here's the laundry. Right there. I think the two best things about this is all the windows, because they have these top windows to bring in the light. Actually three, the loft. It has this awesome porch. Both of the ones I was looking at are $399, right under 400 square feet. And the Athens, which was the blue one, was at $109,346. And the green one, which we thought was bigger, but it's not, it's still right under 400 square feet, is right under $100,000. $99,585. $10,000 more. Uh huh. But it comes with a porch and a loft. Right. The other one has those two. So missing. you're paying ten thousand extra for the loft, and which I really do like the loft. I, I, I do like the kitchen set up in the other one, but oh. okay. Well, there are definitely a lot of interesting models there, but my honest opinion, my favorite one was the one with the front kitchen. As you walked in, it just seemed wide open. I love the layout. It was bright and airy and all in all it was my favorite layout but the one that I would probably choose is the one with the loft and the front porch just because it had a nice open layout. It had a bedroom and also loft for storage or for an extra bedroom. It's just in my opinion it was more usable and friendly for what I would want it for. But I still love that green one with the bay windows and the huge kitchen. I would also love to know what your thoughts were on these little tiny homes and which one was your favorite one. And what did you think about the pricing? Did you think it was too expensive or it was pretty cheap? So let me know in the comments below. I want to thank y'all for checking out this video. Hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget if you want to check out more videos, they'll be right over here. Or you can subscribe and check out Patreon right over there. Have a good day.